the first mainstay um, open intelligence, short moments of open intelligence. So the introduction to open intelligence, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, the, the introduction to open intelligence with stop thinking. And you can choose to do that now, to stop think, just for a moment, and, and what remains. And that alertness and power to know that remains. And that's there always. It's always there, always on. And now you have another thought. And that is inseparable from, from opening intelligence, from that power to know. That is a key instruction to see that no matter if there are thoughts or no thoughts, opening intelligence is present. It seems simple, but it's completely profound. It's, it's, a, it's a key instruction and a key recognition that is introduced by, by, well, introduced by the Four Mainstays, by recognizing that opening intelligence is, is present no matter what you do, no matter what you think and, and feel and sense. And all these descriptions of what you can describe, what is going on for you, we call data, to make it simple as well. So having that kind of common language empowers our instinctive recognition and evokes the instinctive recognition and keeps it also very simple. Our, our, our experience as a human being is very simple. All these descriptions we can have, we can feel it's completely complicated and we have to try to understand what's going on for us, what are our thoughts and emotions and you can just simply call them all data. And um, now introduced to open intelligence, you, you, get, you, you see that um, this is the first mainstay. So short moments of open <coughs> intelligence, and we can repeat that many times, like whenever you remember, empowers to see that it becomes obvious, it becomes continuous. That means you see in your own experience that it's always there. You don't have to always think about it, but it just repeating these short moments during the day, you recognize that there's something about you that is completely stable, clear, and is the power to know. And we simply ignored that in our daily experience, that we have that power in us as a human being. We don't have to get it somewhere. We don't have to produce it. We don't have to fix ourselves for it to be obvious. It's right here. It's like every single thing about you. E everything about you is just perfect. And, and just as it is, you have the opportunity to recognize this power as a human being. Rather than disempowering ourselves by emphasizing all these data, like data like I, I don't like myself, I, I can't do this, I, I, I'm depressed, I'm, I have fear, I'm the worst, um, I have the most fear, or whatever the data are, you see these are all descriptions. They arise and then they, then they go again. And they come up again and, and when we just live our lives emphasizing these data, these emotions and thoughts and experiences, that's our reality, that's how we create reality and that's just all we see. I came to India, it was in Rishikesh, seven uh, or more years ago. And I just walked into this open meeting and was offered, I mean, this most profound introduction to something about me that I was always looking for. Complete relief, power and permanent life satisfaction. I didn't really recognize that in the beginning. But I heard these words and I knew that something is true about that because always something was missing with all my strategies to try to find satisfaction and just to be okay or find love or thought something is just wrong with me so I have to fix it and go to all kinds of courses or therapy or meditation, try to not think. And um, that's much, e it was just clear, it was more effortless that first of all. Like just hearing nothing needs to change about whatever you think, feel and sense. Then that there's something that is already present that means, okay, it's not effortful. 
So it has to be just, just be empowered to make obvious. We had such a training on emphasizing data. And now you train open intelligence, recognizing opening intelligence. And the four mainstays, so now we are still in the first mainstay, opening intelligence with the power of short moments, repeated many times until it becomes obvious and continues, that you can do wherever you are. You can be here and you can be out at the beach or sitting and eating, washing up. You remember, you don't forget now anymore. You might forget, but you will remember again. So that's how simple it is. Now we're just in the first mainstay, so that's one thing. <laughs> three more to come. <laughs> okay, And uh, it, it's amazing to see, so that's one. And then we are sitting here, second mainstay, the training. Just listening to talks like this, and there are many, many talks on the website. You just open the website, you have many videos and audios to take on a, on a um, iPod, and, or, or listen in any kind of device. And then, then there are books as well, like all kinds of um, written material. That if, and all these materials, they just confirm that. They confirm your power. They confirm the power of opening intelligence. And they repeat that. You hear that repeated. But it's like you hear repeatedly all these descriptions. I wanted to say all this nonsense, but all these descriptions of who you th think you are, so all these limiting ways of disempowering, so now you're repeatedly recognizing and opening up to what you, your power. That doesn't mean we're saying, oh, gone with all these descriptions. You can't stop them. They, they'll come up unpredictably. And they are the fuel of benefit the power to be of benefit. Opening intelligence, as it's inseparable from all data, you can't say, oh, gone with all these data, and yes, with open intelligence. But that's the, so that, that will not work. So, OK, the second mainstay is the training. And all the training is, is focused on empowerment and on recognizing opening intelligence and invoking open intelligence. It's it, and it works just by showing up. So that makes it easy. So you don't have to really do anything other than showing up at those meetings, coming to those meetings, and coming to the trainings. And yesterday night, I participated, in, uh, I led a clarity call. And uh, just brilliant, those calls. You know, you, do, you can be here in Goa, but you can be anywhere in, in the world. People call together onto a, um, conference bridge basically and you you just need internet and then you call in and then we read a text together and then we share our experience and you can see that people all over the world call in and there are many that daily like many many clarity calls and where we read text together and share our experience and you hear other people and it's just mind-blowing to hear people relying on open intelligence, relying on the four mainstays in their daily life, wherever they are. They can be in South Africa, Australia, and Europe, and America. It doesn't matter where that is. You call in, you're connected, you think you are in the living room together. It's really beautiful. I was sitting on my bed. <laughs> I was sitting, not lying, <laughs> sitting, and um, yeah, it was just brilliant to hear everyone, and it's very touching to see that everyone is taking responsibility for their data, relying on opening intelligence, and, and claiming their power to be of benefit to all. So that's just also one offering. There are many, many trainings and talks, so you see the training the way how you can, can participate in training is also has many, many options that can fit to your circumstance. I mean, we are lucky that we are here now together so we can see each other. And <clears throat> but um, it doesn't really matter where you are. And if you're only here, sometimes you have calls with only telephone. But that's powerful too. You don't even have to see people. If you're completely connected 
and you share and, and you are empowered. So I'm sharing from my experience. So that's over the years I just immerse myself completely into the Four Mainstays and still that, that's my life. So that's why you hear when you hear the Four Mainstays lifestyle. It's just how my life looks like I, the Four Mainstays. But why? Because I can see the benefits and they never end. They are inexhaustible each day more. And I'm, I'm just amazed each day more ease, more more power to be of benefit, knowing what to do in every situation. And once you hear these results and you don't feel that obvious in your experience at first, you just need to show up. You don't have to understand everything. So if you don't understand it, or only parts of it, even that is, is fine. What is open intelligence? What is short moments? The first mainstay we talked about already, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't, isn't clear. Just come back and you hear it and it becomes obvious because it's natural to you. It's, a, it's, it's your natural state. So the second mainstay. And, and then of course all these trainings, when you hear the announcements later, we, 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 um, we announce about introductory trainings, one day or four days or the 12 empowerments. These are all powerful trainings that have a text with key instructions to evoke opening intelligence, to make it really simple. So to lay it all out that you know what is the offering of the Four Mainstays and how is it everywhere in the world and right here. And then the third mainstay is the trainer. And the trainer, also a human being like you, when introduced to opening intelligence and made a 100% commitment to opening intelligence and tested it in their own experience and took it all the way with utilizing all the offering of the four mainstays. And what comes about, I, just in my experience, is wow, I thought this is amazing. These results are guaranteed that I heard in the beginning, like complete mental and emotional stability. I thought, wow, that's amazing. Like that guaranteed. To t and then I just wanted that. But what can I lose? I mean, I tested all the therapy. I mean, th that nobody can tell me anything about that. And then I tested all, also many spiritual things, maybe not everything, but enough for me at least. And then, um, and other strategies here and there. And um, just where's the permanent satisfaction and complete stability where you can say, no matter what comes up, I'm not afraid. Even in fear, there's no fear. Even in suffering, there's no suffering. But how, you can't think of you know, that. To think it's in your own experience and testing the four mainstays. I even couldn't really at all think my way into that. It just took time to gain confidence and assurance in opening intelligence. And I just took the time, step by step. Then we hear self-love. And then you really don't like things about yourself. Oh, why did you say that again? Why did you do that? So like the commentary and wanting love, wanting it in relationships, wanting it to be acknowledged, or all these kinds of things. And all that just it naturally just slips away. Even if these data come up, you recognize opening intelligence. That doesn't mean that we don't enter into a relationship, really, or it, it doesn't mean that we put away with things we like. It's, it's that we recognize the nature of all data, and that gives such a stability and openness to everything as it is, letting everything be as it is you recognize an, a stability that, that is so powerful. You're not anymore a victim like you heard today, not a victim of your data, like waking up and having all these data and then knowing where to go, what to rely on, what can you count on, that you can ask yourself, what can you count on, opening intelligence. So the trainer gives direct instructions, like sitting here or in, in trainings. And then we have the 24-hour um, response. Once you get introduced to opening intelligence and participate in trainings, there are trainers available. And there's a trainer available to support you directly with your situation. Obviously, a, a trainer is available in each training setting. 
to give instructions to your situation and to share we share our experience that's what we mainly do we, we share our experience how it was for us if we i mean i I, 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 I tested it in my experience and I'm using the four mainstays and it's just, and that's what I share. And then you really want to share that. That's where I stopped some, some paragraphs before. <laughs> I really wanted to share that because I saw nothing, really nothing else worked for me in my life to, I always felt something else was missing. So, I just took it all the way. The Four Mainstays lifestyle. So the trainer, so powerful to have a relationship with someone who went before and to say, oh, can you support me there? And just to listen, just to listen. That's what I did and just to hear and then test it out in my experience. And then the community, that's the fourth mainstay. The community, everyone, worldwide community, and that, that has a, also immense power. When I just hear other people share, you know, when you hear other people share, you know it's for you too. Others can do it and you can do it. And that's very normalizing because we're all in the same boat, you know, you hear other people ask questions and say, oh yeah, I want to know that too. Because we can, we can relate with all what everybody's asking. And then share, hearing other people share their experience, how they use the Four Mainstays is so inspiring, like the call yesterday. Again, everybody shared their experience from relying on, with relying on the Four Mainstays. I just thought, wow, it is just incredible. Everyone's so powerful, and then that's, you can see, it's so inspiring, right? And then coming into the center, I think just coming into the center here and seeing people, like, shining, there's no argument here. It, it just doesn't hold. Everybody takes responsibility for their data, but if things are needed, things can be talked about and solutions are found. There's a complete shift to solution orientation and you can see you might have all kinds of data. You can see, wow, there's just everything going on. But everybody taking responsibility and relying on opening intelligence is magic. And it's a place where, well, at, at least I can't think of any other way to live. Like to live with emphasizing data is just First of all, small place, but then also a bit of scary place because you never know what the next data is you have or anybody else has. So it can, you know, creating war in yourself with people. You can see what plays out. So you can see the dynamic of relying, of emphasizing data. And then here, what you have the opportunity, and I'm so grateful that we come together like this. We have the opportunity to see what it means on a large scale, when people come together and rely on their power instead of disempowerment. It's so simple, right? It's like, and so that, that example shows that there, there is an era of great benefit where there's benefit, where we want to be of benefit. That's why we are here. I mean, we, we just want to be of benefit. Our mind is completely beneficial, our nature completely beneficial. And to demonstrate that together shows that it's possible. So that's number four, fourth mainstay. <laughs> and these four mainstays are there and you can use however you want and how much you want and they're always there. And just showing up is the first perfect instruction, <laughs> suggestion, <laughs> suggestion. As a first, first, I just did that, just show up. And I think when you ask others, yes, that's, that's what others did as well. <laughs>